Buddha. Founder of Buddhism. Buddha, Sanskrit, Awakened One, also known by his clan name Gautama or, Pali, Gautama and his personal name Siddhartha or, Pali, Siddhartha, was the founder of Buddhism, one of the most important religions and philosophical systems in southern and eastern Asia as well as the entire world. He was born in Lumbini, near Kapilavastu, during the Shakya and Kazila kingdoms, now Nepal, and died in one of the various names given to a teacher who lived in northern India between the 6th and the 4th century BC before the common era is Buddha. His adherents, known as Buddhists, spread the belief system that is now known as Buddhism. Many different religious groups in ancient India used the term Buddha, which had a variety of meanings. However, it came to be most strongly associated with the tradition of Buddhism and came to mean an enlightened being, one who has emerged from the sleep of ignorance and attained freedom from suffering. Buddhas have existed in the past and will exist in the future, according to the many Buddhist traditions. Buddhism in certain forms maintains that there is only one Buddha for each historical era, whereas Buddhism in others maintains that everyone will someday become a Buddha since everyone has the Buddha nature. Tathagatagarbha. All schools of Buddhism commemorate the Buddha Gautama's birth, enlightenment, and entry into nirvana among other milestones in his life. The three occasions are observed simultaneously in certain nations in Southeast Asia, this day is known as Wesk. The festivities in other areas take place on various days and include a wide range of rites and behaviors. Depending on the lunar date, Several nations celebrate the birth of the Buddha in April or May. The Buddha's birth is commemorated on April 8th in Japan, which does not follow the lunar calendar. The Hanimatsuri Flower Festival was created by combining the festivities with a local Shint ritual. General Considerations The historical figure known as the Buddha, whose life is mostly known through tradition, was born Siddhartha, Sanskrit, he who achieves his objective or Siddhartha. His given name was Gautama, Sanskrit, he who achieves his aim, or Gautama, Pali, in Pali. Many people refer to him as Shakyamuni, or the sage of the Shakya tribe. He is frequently referred to as Lord or Bhagavat in Buddhist writings, and he calls himself the Tathagata, which can mean either one who has thus come or one who has thus gone. The majority of information about his life comes from Buddhist texts the earliest of which were not recorded until several centuries after his passing, just before the Common Era. Though his historical existence is acknowledged by scholars, the events of his life described in these books cannot be taken as fact. Although it is believed that he lived for 80 years, the exact date of his passing is very uncertain. His death, or as it is known in the tradition, passing into Nirvana, is dated between 2420 BCE and 290 BCE in traditional sources. This range was significantly constrained by scholarship in the 20th century, with opinions largely split between those who date his death to around 480 BCE and those who date it to as much as a century later. Historical Context In what is now southern Nepal, the Buddha was born in Lumbini, Roman de close to Kapilavastu, Kapilavastu, on the northern boundary of the Ganges River Valley, a region outside of the North Indian civilization. The Grand Palace is described in the traditional accounts of the life of the Buddha are not apparent among the archaeological remains, leading scholars to hypothesize that during the late Vedic period the peoples of the region were organized into tribal republics, governed by a council of elders or an elected leader. The Buddha's family is claimed to have been from the warrior, Kshatriya, caste, though it is unknown how far these marginalized tribes in the Ganges Basin were integrated into the caste system. There were around 16 city-states in the central Ganges Basin that were ruled by monarchs and frequently at war with one another. With their courts and commerce, these central Indian cities rose to prominence, bringing about social, political, and economic developments that are frequently cited as major contributors to the spread of Buddhism and other religious movements in the 6th and 5th century BCE. Buddhist texts list numerous itinerant teachers who drew crowds of followers. 
some of these articulated philosophical viewpoints and taught meditation, yoga, and asceticism, frequently focused on the nature of the individual and the issue of whether human deeds, karma, had lasting effects. The Buddha would eventually become one of these teachers, but in the eyes of Buddhists, he was very distinct from the others. Therefore, it is impossible to comprehend his place within the tradition by focusing solely on the occurrences of his life and times, even to the extent that they are available. He must be viewed instead in the light of Buddhist conceptions of history and time. According to Buddhist philosophy, the cosmos is the result of the rule of cause and effect known as karma, which states that good deeds lead to happiness in the future while bad deeds lead to suffering. The universe's creatures are born again without beginning in six realms as demigods, angels, humans, animals, ghosts, and inhabitants of hell. These species' actions not only shape their own unique experiences, but also the worlds in which they live. Buddhism views the cycle of reincarnation, known as samsara, literally, wandering, as a world of pain, and the ultimate aim of its practice is to flee from it. Until a person perfects himself over the period of millions of lives, he or she will not be able to find the way out of samsara and will not be able to lovingly reveal that way to others. A bodhisattva is a person who has embarked on the arduous quest to learn the way to liberation from suffering and then to pass it on to others. A Buddha is a person who has found that path, traveled it all the way to the finish, and then taught it to others. Buddhas don't experience rebirth after death instead, they pass into nirvana, which is a Sanskrit word that literally means going away. The appearance of a Buddha in the world is seen as a significant event in the history of the universe because Buddhas appear so infrequently throughout time and because they are the only ones who can reveal the road to liberation, Maksha, from pain, Dukkha. A specific Buddha's life biography begins before his conception and continues after his passing. It includes the countless bodhisattva lives lived before attaining Buddhahood and the Buddha's continued influence after entering Nirvana in the form of both his teachings and his relics. The historical Buddha is not thought to be the first or last Buddha to have existed. He is the seventh Buddha in some traditions, the twenty-fifth in another, and the fourth and still another. Maitreya, the following Buddha, will manifest after Shakyamuni's teachings and artifacts have vanished from the world. From this angle, the historical narratives of the Buddha's life's events must be taken into account. 